Sky Aries, this is going to be an X reading to see if it's likely that your ex will come back, okay? So, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. But I would advise you to check your Moon and Rising signs as well, as it may help to put together um, a full story for you. Okay? Only take what resonates, okay? Because a lot of times, you know, you can pull bits out of a story because, you know, lots of people watch the video, so. Alright guys, let's see if it's likely that your ex will come back. guys a lot of times I say my little prayer off of camera but <clears throat> I don't remember whether I did it or not so always best to do it again alright let's see guys cut these cards energy for you guys is a six of wands feeling successful feeling victorious <clears throat> I don't know if this is surrounding your own life or whether you know it's you know you guys feeling like that together moving forward here I'm um, feeling attractive okay so your current position is a two of wands that's you your current position is a seven of swords Hmm. Oops, I'm shift some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. What you want is a Queen of Coins. What they want is a Page of Swords. What you need is the world. What they need is faith or the Hierophant. Is someone else involved? We have the Four of Wands for you. Hmm. For them, we have the Devil. Who? Card in the middle for if this is likely. All right. Aries, you have some good stuff on your side, okay? You know which way you're going I just feel that strongly here and I say that especially because when when I look down here at the bottom of uh, on your side for if someone else is involved your two of wands doubles to the four of wands now this is increased stability also this is you quite possibly already you know getting involved into a relationship, solidifying a connection with somebody else. Yeah. So usually, you know, I go down the line and, you know, just, but that's very strong there. Okay. So on their side, current position is a seven of swords. Now, either this was, this person has ran out on you, lied to you, deceived you, cheated on you, you know, what have you, and want to come back, which I feel strongly that that is exactly what's going on, but also in them coming back, they're running away from something else, and I feel like it's another responsibility that they're running away from um, or trying to run away from because that's their energy, 
okay? Wanting to come back. And usually when people leave in a deceitful way, then um, a lot of times they do resurface, okay? Now, with that, whoever they are trying to sneak out on, do the same exact thing that they possibly did to you, if you decide to go back with this person, nine times out of 10, if things get rough between you, then they run back to somebody else, okay? So with that being said, I know I'm giving a long spiel, but I'm saying all that to get to this. This is narcissistic behavior, and usually, narcissists have a harem of people. Like, they never really cut ties with people, so just so they can always have something or someone to, like, attach to. So keep that in mind, okay? But I don't see you being phased by this person. I see you going on with your life because what you want is turned away from this person being the queen of pentacles, okay? Being solid, being stable, being secure, knowing your worth, and turning your back to tomfoolery. That is what you want. Like you don't have any time for this, like this, this, this going on over here. You don't have any time for it, okay? It seems like what this person wants is just a freaking spy to look and see if it's an opportune time to come and revisit you with the Page of Swords. Because the Page of Swords does not talk. All they do really, depending on what is near, and since it's near the Seven of Swords, it makes me feel like this person is very sneaky. Very sneaky and not saying a word, just observing you, observing your actions, um, whether it's on social media, whether it's riding by your house to see if somebody else is there, you know, that kind of stuff, okay? So what you what you need is the Will of Fortune, I mean, is the World card. This is a start over. This cycle between you and this person, I feel like is over. And either you can start anew with them if they've changed, or you can start over with somebody else and have a brand new cycle, a better one, depending on what you choose to do. You're up here in this green with the queen of coins. You're trying to get on top. Start it from the bottom, now we're here, okay? No, not going back. Okay, and what they need is to have faith. They need to get some structure in their life, I really feel like. I feel like they need to decide what it is that they want and be sincere in that and, and go with that and stop with this sneaky, um, stalking sort of behavior. You know, come right out with it. Be open and honest. Be genuine. Is someone else involved for you? I do believe so. Um, and I see this quite possibly leading to marriage for a lot of you. You know, I get the feeling that there is marriage in the near future for, not to say a lot of you, but some of you, you know who you are because this love affair is taking off really, really fast. It's taking off really, really fast and you feel something significant about this person that, um, that you're currently involved with. They have the devil for if there's someone else involved, okay? Now, I feel like there's no one else involved. I feel like they're fighting themselves because it's an opposite energy from faith, okay? And I feel like they, they want this person, the energy that I get is that they want to change, they want to do the right thing, but this devil energy wins out a lot of the time because they always tend to, it's easier for them to do things the wrong way. 
it's easier to function out of that low vibration only think about self and I feel like that's what they're fighting with because I feel like this person you know they love you in the way that they know how to love that's what I'm getting the only thing is that's that doesn't feel like it's good enough for you you know I need you to love me the way that I need to be not be, be loved not the way that you know how to love and I get that from you because you're moving on they're also they feel very attached to you they're they're almost to the level of obsession with you I'm getting now the person that you're dealing with we have um, moon and Aquarius here and these are just the energies on this side. We have Taurus energy. We have Capricorn energy um, on their side. Okay. And um, yeah, that's what we have. Is this union likely? We have a two of coins. I'm not going to say that it's likely, but it's possible with the two of coins being here. Because at some point, this person is going to make an entrance, I feel. And with the devil being down here, I feel like there, there is something strong that you feel for this person as well even though you know you don't want to be bothered with this energy but i feel like you know they're they're your weakness almost so it's going to be up to you i do feel to decide if you want this stability with this new person or you want this devil energy with the old person Definitely possible for this person to come back, for sure. But it's strictly up to you. Use your discernment. All right, Aries. So that's your X reading for, let's see, what's the date? Uh, the 13th through the 19th. And I'll be speaking with you soon. I know.